what would normally take a year will now only take a few hours. Eating Village will be constructing its new village with state-of-the-art cutting-edge technology. Thanks to a generous donation, Eden Village can now provide the unsheltered community in Springfield with a brand new home that will only take eight to nine hours to build. Brett Guillory with Eden Village tells me his team spent more than a month in Utah studying and training on the 3D concrete printers. So when they return to the Ozarks, they can get right to work. It'll go in whatever pattern you tell it to go in. And when it gets back to where it starts, it raises up quarter of an inch, half inch, whatever you need to get on that second layer. And it just keeps doing that until it builds the whole house. So far, Guillory says his team has built five small test homes, trying to iron out the details before they begin constructing nine feet tall homes. With the nonprofit saving about 40% of costs with the new machinery, Guillory says this is an incredible opportunity. So if we're building a tiny home, 600, 700 square feet, it may take us eight hours to get through it. But Guillory and his team aren't the only ones who are taking advantage of the 3D printers. Students at Drury University are working on a hypothetical student housing project where they will look at 3D concrete printers to see how they can push its capabilities. Rachel Hoagland is a third year architect student and she says this is valuable experience she wouldn't be able to get anywhere else. I'm really grateful personally. I know everyone in the architecture department is super excited. Uh, we get to be some of the first students in the country to experience this technology. Tracy Suter is the director of the design build program at Drury and she says students will try to come up with different ways to create new textures and techniques and do in-depth research that could hopefully change the entire industry. So this is fantastic. We've already got architects from across the country calling and wanting to be a part of this because they want to hire our students after they've had this experience and, and gain this knowledge. After their latest test, officials with Eden Village tell me they will soon begin breaking ground on its new village. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Joshua Pinella, Color 10 News.